there's an old mining shop. Yeah. Oh, cool. going on guys we just got to Vegas flew in headed to the rental car property pick up rental car and then we got a three-hour drive to get over to Parker Arizona so let's check out what we're driving So we made it here, made it to Parker, Arizona. We're down at uh, Pirates, Pirates Den, I believe it's called. And uh, super, super cool out here. But we made it out, Mustang drove great. We actually got lost and ended up in California on the way here. No big deal, just a little detour. And uh, yeah, we're here. So we're gonna show you the spot. It's beautiful, right on the water, right in uh, on, uh, I believe it's the Colorado River. So show you some views here. This place is sweet. This is home for the next few days. Lucky enough, big shout out to Terry down the street who hooked us up with the, uh, the best bed and breakfast in town. Got the Stang, that thing was awesome to roll the top down on yesterday. going on you guys welcome to another episode with country slicker we are out today in uh well near parker arizona going to vampire mine on the side by side so stay tuned we've never done a lot of desert riding but this should be pretty sweet so stay tuned make sure to smack that subscribe button we appreciate the support and come along for the ride our ride for today is the can-am maverick x3 turbo four seater so should be fun
Vampire Mines has multiple entry shafts and multiple spots where one could venture into the main heart of the mine. Due to a risk of tarantulas as well as rattlesnakes and the hot climate, we chose not to go inside the mines. However, we could see multiple different spots where one could get access. There was also tons and tons of leftover residue from the times they were building the shafts. Awesome spot to explore and with the plus 33 weather we'd had so far, it was an excellent time to be out exploring. Arizona allows side-by-sides on the highway, which makes access incredibly easy. If you're in the Havasu or even the Parker, Arizona area, I highly recommend checking out this awesome location. As we finished looking at the input shafts, it was time to head home. A steep descent, as well as tons and tons of miles of desert terrain, made up the drive home, something that was accessible by side-by-side, -side, dirt bike, or jeep. Alright you guys, so we just got back from our ride. Lots and lots of little shelves and little places to go in. Also a really, really popular destination for people just going for a little more leisurely ride, but the views are cra crazy. Obviously being from Alberta, we don't get anything like that. We don't get the sand dunes, we don't get the, you know, the big rocky ledges. We don't have the, just the mountainous landscape and the sort of that desert landscape. So super, super cool place to be. If you guys are still watching, be sure to smack that subscribe button. We appreciate the support and uh, yeah. Until uh, until next time, we'll, we'll go. <laughs>